Hi everyone, uh, out at the field today, another field test of uh, a new motor to me. This is the Emax LS or Light Spec 2206 2700 uh, KV motor. Uh, I'm running a 6x4 EPC gas prop, Turnigy uh, AE45 amp speed controller, custom settings of 22.5 degrees, uh, 24 kilohertz on uh, 3S. So uh, yeah, let's give her a, give her a, a thrash here. Start the timer on my watch because I'm using my fly sky. fly sky transmitter. So originally I, I had uh, tested this with the Gemfan 6045 carbon nylon prop, which uh, gave some really exceptional results on the bench. Got a bit of a breeze here, so hopefully we'll get a little faster going downwind on this on this run. Um, it uh, it was. Uh, producing about 250 grams more thrust, I think, at uh, about 42 amps. Uh, I, I apologize, I don't know, I can't remember the numbers. Uh, I think about 10, 20 grams, whoa! <laughs> 10, 20 grams full throttle uh, with this 6x4 EPC gas prop. What I was noticing with the uh, with the Gemfan 6045 prop was, uh, you know, I have lost a little bit of speed now with this with this 6x4 prop, but the motor was coming down uh, quite warm. Uh, I don't know the actual amp rating for this motor, but it was coming down very warm, and what I was finding was that the motor was, was laboring a bit, uh, you know, sagging sagging quite a bit on uh, full throttle runs, especially as I pulled up into the vertical. Uh, I could tell it was almost like the motor, uh, you know, was trying its best to spin the prop, but it sort of run out of uh, torque to, you know, to keep muscling that, uh, that slightly longer, uh, bigger and higher pitch prop. <laughs> but it seems to be doing pretty well with this 6x4 EPC gas. Like I said, it's it's, I've lost a bit of top end, but I don't think I've lost, you know, what I would consider 250 grams of thrust top end. The motor seems to be, uh, ooh, there's a good gust of wind. The motor seems to be better able to uh, spin this, you know, and unwind with this, uh, with this prop with the lower pitch. And it is a bit shorter. I think the gem fan 6045 is about an eighth of an inch longer. Three sixteenths. Yeah, we are getting bounced around in the wind a little today, but that's all right. Ooh. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was going to do there. I <laughs> thought it was coming from my head there. A little tail wag like it was upset with me or something. All right, let's see if we can't fight this wind here. Do one more. There's my landing alarm going off on my watch. We can't get one. <sighs> nice. All right, so uh, yeah, I, this is in my, uh, I think my winter beater plane here. Thought it was going to have the uh, the summer off, but uh, unfortunately because of some recent uh, carnage with a couple of other planes, I'm sort of running out of stable uh, and predictable test bed planes. So uh, I'm just going to shut that off because my FlySky transmitter starts beeping like crazy. So let's see. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, that motor is warm. Uh, it's not a terribly warm day today. It's about 18 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, yeah, speed controller is pretty good, uh, a bit warm, but uh, no worries whatsoever. So yeah, like I said, uh, it is uh, it is a is a is a bit lighter motor than um, the 2306 2750 by Emax that I, you know, you've seen me run a lot, which you'd expect because the stator is. Uh, <clears throat> is uh, not quite as as uh, big in diameter, but it's only about four grams lighter. Um, 
It doesn't have a hollow shaft like the uh, the uh, 2306 does. Uh, it is a naked bottom, as you can see here. You know, there's no sort of real bottom on the motor, just a little uh, X part to uh, connect to the motor mount. Uh, they did use uh, heavier gauge wire. I could be wrong saying this. I think it's about 18 gauge wire, but I'll have the link to uh, the Banggood where I bought it, and I think there's a little promo there. You can read all those details. So it comes in at about 4 grams lighter than the 2306 size motors. Um, <coughs> pardon me. If you're, you know, if you're a real amp uh, or a um, weight person, uh, the Foxier Datura is actually, I think, in the plane, still a couple grams lighter. And I actually want to say that the uh, Datura is uh, a bit better, uh, more powerful um, with this prop anyway. And I've flown this plane with the uh, with the Foxier Datura. But it's, uh, you know, it's not that uh, expensive a motor. I think it's about $18 US from Banggood. Um, you know, I see some good potential there. So, yeah, we'll just keep flying it. Uh, you know, it, Emacs makes a good motor, good quality motor in my experience thus far. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I need to make uh, needed to make the uh, adjustment there because I just found with the 6045 carbon nylon, I was getting better, you know, flat out speed, but then I could really feel that the motor was uh, uh, struggling, or I could hear it. You know, the motor was struggling as uh, as it wound right out, and then I pulled up into the vertical, and it was coming down uh, uh, pretty hot, a little bit hotter than what I would be comfortable with, but. Uh, Anyway, folks, there we go. Uh, more uh, more info down below in the uh, in the video description. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.